Hello, my wonderful people. I hope y'all are having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another Vlogmas video. Today, it's all about fragrances and all about what they mean to me, okay? That's the beauty in fragrances. They really can evoke memories, take you back to a special time in your life. Maybe sometimes it can take you back to bad memories, but Sometimes, a lot of us actually, we have very strong attachment to our perfumes because they really do mean a lot to us. And I wanted to share with you guys some of my top fragrances that have special places in my heart. Why, when, what happened, all that good stuff. And I kind of want to make this a tag. I want more of you perfume reviewers to do that also. Grab five to ten, how many you want, fragrances, and just take us back to that place and allow us to envision what that fragrance meant to you. So let's do this as a tag. If any of you guys want to try it, definitely do. I'll try and tag some of my favorite perfume reviewers or just um, YouTubers in general down in the description box to do this tag and I would love love to just see more and it's kind of like a way of letting you guys into my life into my personal life to let you guys know exactly uh, what happened to um, evoke that special memory let me know what is your most memorable fragrance and why leave it down below start off with one of my oldest fragrances okay this is one that's been in my collection for probably over 12 years <laughs> that's a really really long time and i can just never get rid of this bottle because it means so much to me right this is escada this fragrance over here this was gifted to me by my mom the first time she came to visit me in canada so a little backstory for y'all um i came to canada with my entire family my father came to work here at the embassy of angola and unfortunately they didn't end up staying because my, my my dad just couldn't get used to the culture here. It's totally different from back home. And I met my husband in high school. And so he proposed. We got married <laughs> right after high school, literally a month after we graduated. And I ended up staying here. And I hadn't seen my mom in three years, like face to face physically. And it was just really hard for me because... I'm very close to my family. Like they mean the world to me. I'm super close to my mom. She's one of my best friends. And um, that distance really, really just kind of like took a piece of me, you know? And it's still till it still is very hard till this day. Even though I've been in Canada for many years, it's very, very hard for me, especially Christmas season. Like this is a bittersweet moment for me because I love the holiday season. I love Christmas, but the fact that sometimes I don't get to spend Christmas with my mom, it's tough. Um, let's not get sentimental here, okay? <laughs> but um, this is the fragrance that she got for me when she did come and visit the first time. And it's just, it means the world to me. It's one that I really don't wear, <laughs> but I can't get rid of the actual bottle because it has so much significance to me. Um, it's a very fruity, fresh, um, young type of scent for sure. So for teenagers, I, I definitely think you would enjoy this. But for me personally, it's a little bit too juvenile right now. I do know that there are some people that still love it. I believe it's still around. You can get it online. But yeah, that is one of my most, most sacred fragrances. More so the bottle. I'll, I'll be honest. Okay, on to the next one. We are going to talk about black opium and why I love black opium so much. Um, some people like to talk crap about black opium. I'm taking it personal. Okay, like don't, don't, don't come at me. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, you know, there's people who love it and there's people who don't like it. I personally do love the actual scent. And the reason why I love black opium or I have a... Um, attachment to this fragrance is because this was one of my first designer fragrances so to me back then this was like luxury this was expensive you know i mean it still is quite pricey for like not everyone's gonna splurge on a bottle of black opium but um yeah this was one of my first designer fragrances and i just fell in love instantly i was like oh honey 
this is sensual this is fun it's flirty and that's what black opium is to me it's a flirty fun sensual scent and i still wear it i still love it my husband adores this fragrance on me but for me, it's just that that memory of getting my first bottle of a designer fragrance, going into a department store, testing out a couple of fragrances, and I was like, I'm gonna treat myself, okay? I just got paid, I'm gonna treat myself, and I picked this one up. And actually, the first time that I smelt black opium was because of my mom, because she owned a bottle of black opium, and I was like, ooh, I wanted to keep it, but that was hers, so I got myself a full-size bottle. Now, this bottle is a new one, the one that I'm talking about it's completely done this was um, a second bottle that I got recently and I just love it I love black opium I love the significance that I of it and it pretty much started my perfume obsession it was black opium 100% after I got black opium I wanted to get more and more fragrances and it just takes me back to that fun place where I discovered another level of fragrances it wasn't just your celebrity fragrances it wasn't just victoria's secret it was a little bit more luxe it was more expensive and it just made me feel great to be able to take one of my paychecks like hard-earned money and um get something for myself and really enjoy it every time i wore it i was like oh i smell good so that is the reason why i love black opium and i probably will always have it in my collection maybe at some point in time i won't wear it anymore but for now I still wear her and I still love it so that is black opium and why I love black opium um, let's go on to another one that reminds me of my husband and that is my Burberry black from Burberry okay this scent over here was one of the first fragrances that my husband bought for me that I actually enjoyed <laughs> sounds terrible I know but my my husband really doesn't understand my perfume taste and there was many times where he bought a perfume for me and I was like bro what is you thinking when he finally got this one for me it was funny because he got me Bur my Burberry the original and then he got my Burberry black at the same time because he was like I don't know what she likes I'm gonna get like a more deeper one and I'm gonna get a lighter one so you can decide if you enjoy it <laughs> And I really loved both of them. This one is definitely my favorite. I still have my Burberry in my collection, but this one was my favorite. I think he did a fantastic job capturing um, the essence of my perfume taste, especially at that point in time. I've had this one for about, um, I want to say three years now, and I love it. It is the EDP. It's the 50 ml, and I really, really like it. Oh. It's deep, it's sensual, it's a little sweet, it's a little more sophisticated and a little bit more mature. I know that um, Francis Kirk Dijon created this one, so obviously I would absolutely love it, but he did an incredible job, and every time I smell it, it takes me back to that memory because it's sweet, but it's funny at the same time because he could never get a fragrance quite right. I would always end up exchanging them. I know I know it's terrible, but I did exchange them, um, but this one, I was like, babe, you did it. Next fragrance, I'm going to take it to my dad. Uh, this is Paco Rabanne Por Homme, and this is... A scent that literally just it feels like my dad is right beside me it smells it smells like him he wore this for years and years and years and I just think that it was just his signature scent um, my mom actually got this for my husband my mom is that type of woman anytime she travels she comes to see you she'll bring you a bottle of perfume that's just her gift every single time and I'm not complaining I love it and this is one that she got for my husband now he stopped wearing this fragrance because I, I asked him to because it was kind of weird it just smelled too much like my dad I like that he still has the bottle it really just reminds me of my father and um, I just like looking at the bottle and thinking about my dad but um, I don't like it when he wears it because I don't really want him to smell like my dad you know what I mean <laughs> so it's kind of it's kind of weird but I do love that I can reminisce about certain memories like my dad and I just to get a little bit a little bit personal we have quite a complex uh, relationship you know we've had many many ups and downs but I still love him to bits I think he is a highly highly intelligent man and um 
He's just uh he's a he's a he's a good hearted person that has made many mistakes, but I love him. He's my dad and this this just reminds me of him so much. Angel from Mugler, one of my favorite designer houses. Um this fragrance just reminds me of my 18 to 21 okay that age group right there that was me that was my signature scent as soon as i discovered this scent no was it 18 no i want to say maybe like 19 20 21 22 around that 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 area i discovered this fragrance i remember once i went to this um function i think it was like a dinner and uh there was a girl that was wearing this fragrance and every time she walked around I was like wow like her perfume is literally everywhere like I want that you know I asked her what she was wearing and the very next day I went to get a full-size bottle for myself I remember I got like a set it was the the moisturizer the fragrance and the mini fragrance and I just fell in love with it. I felt like it just captured attention. It gave me so much confidence. Anytime I would walk into a room, there was many questions. What are you wearing? Ooh, you smell good. Um, and I just love that I had so many memories with this scent. Um, my clubbing days, which I don't really do anymore, <laughs> um, was with this scent over here. Anytime I was going out uh, for the night, I would wear this scent and I have great memories, but at the same time, I still have some um, um, not so fabulous memories because you know when you're at that age you're discovering yourself there's heartbreaks there's there's ups and downs and whatnot and this bottle just takes me to that place where I can remember how I evolved as a woman how I grew up mentally and how I grew to become a little bit more confident and better decision making valuing myself um, all that stuff it's really it's really cool how when I look at this perfume or even smell it, it really does take me back to that moment in time where you're just discovering who you are as a woman. You know, you're leaving the teen years behind and you're slowly entering more of that adult stage in your life because I feel like when you're in your teens like even 18 19 you're just having fun you, you you're not even thinking about like the future um so yeah it's it's so cool it's so cool that this takes me back to that this is Chloe Nomad and it's a fragrance that I discovered this year but it was a scent that I wore for every single process of purchasing my first home. And I really wanted to get a fragrance that I loved and attach that memory to it. And this is Chloe Nobod. Every single time I smell it, I remember sitting down at the office, talking about mortgage and prices <laughs> and stressing over down payment. Um, I remember looking at homes and every single house that I looked at, I remember just stressing over getting approvals and saving money and finally looking at this house and falling in love with it and the process of bidding wars, which we had, um, just every step of purchasing our first home, which was like our goal um, for the last two years, this is this is this fragrance takes me that takes me back to that like it's kind of crazy and I just love it it is a fragrance that I'll always have in my collection and just reminds me of like how powerful it is when you set your mind to do something and that you can definitely achieve it Chloe Nomad gives me that vibe takes me to that memory where I completely my husband and I completely changed our thinking process and truly understood how strong we are as individuals how we are able to accomplish anything it doesn't even matter like it may seem unattainable to many people and may seem out of this world and unrealistic but this fragrance takes me back to a time where we were like absolutely not we're not going to let other people's opinions limit our lives we're just gonna go for it and run with it it's so special like this makes me feel so powerful when i wear it that's chloe nomad I have here Parfums de Marley Delina. This fragrance is special because it was my introduction into the niche fragrance world. Something that I had no clue about. My 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 perspective of fragrances was solely designer and celebrity. I will be honest. Um it wasn't until probably a year and a half ago that I 
got into niche fragrances, Delina was just like, ah, I smelt it and I was like, okay, I'm gonna be spending some serious money on fragrances. And um, I just have a memory of being able to talk to the team, going on a meeting, and it was just really cool to be able to connect with such a prestige brand when it comes to the niche fragrance world. And the fact that I was such a small channel, just getting into fragrances, and having that opportunity, it really means the world to me. It, it almost gives me that, oh, I'm getting recognized type of type of feeling. Like I'm I'm getting recognized for my work. And um, I just, I love Delina. Like it really, it, my bank account doesn't love Delina because now I want to try so many niche fragrances. But <laughs> my heart absolutely loves Delina. YSL Libre. And this is the fragrance that I took on our anniversary getaway recently, actually. Um, my husband and I celebrated 17 years. Um, and we went to Niagara Falls for the weekend, which is something that we hardly do without the kids. Like, we are very, very protective of our children. I don't let them stay with just anyone. I'm just very careful and I don't ever want to risk putting them in any situation that can cause them any sort of harm, physically, emotionally, whatever. So I'm very cautious about leaving my kids with anyone or just being away from them overnight like I get a little bit of anxiety even though you know they're not super babies but they're my babies and this is one of the first times that my husband and I decided we're just gonna do something for ourselves we're gonna leave the kids with the auntie and we're gonna go away for the weekend and I took this is the only fragrance that I took with me at the time I took it because I was kind of testing it out and playing around with it but now, every time I smell this, I remember going into our hotel room, which was beautiful room service because of the pandemic. We didn't do too, too much, but we went uh, by the falls. We went at nighttime to walk around a little bit. We just spent quality time together. And that weekend was just like a weekend for us um, as husband and wife, as friends. We didn't talk about money and bills and children. We just focused on reconnecting you know and really just loving on each other so that will always remind me of that weekend that was very very special to us and we just needed it we needed a break from the everyday life um and just like just just us you know just just date again you know what I mean I think every couple especially if you are in a very long uh relationship marriage you got to take that time to just break out of the, the the schedule, the daily routine, and just reconnect as friends, um, not only as husband and wife, you know? The very last scent that I have, wow, we got a lot of, we okay, George Armani, um, is My Way. Uh, this is a new one. You guys already heard me talk about a ton, but I've already connected a memory to this one, and it makes me so happy. <laughs> Because this fragrance really represents um, a stepping stone in my career as a content creator, influencer, whatever you want to call it. I call it content creating because I create content. Um, and this scent really, really represents a stepping stone. It represents just a move in the right direction. It represents um, that recognition that you, that validation that sometimes you you want in any area of your life, any career. You wanna you wanna climb up the ladder. You want to you wanna evolve. Sorry, you wanna evolve in your career. And so this represents that because. Um, I'm just so proud to be able to partner with Giorgio Armani on a campaign with this fragrance. And at the same time, I partnered with Hudson's Bay. And that was just like incredible. Those two brands were literally some of my dream brands to work with. And the fact that I was able to do that this year in 2020, that's been quite hectic, uh, really just it just took me to another level mentally um, when I think of my career, when I think of where I'm going with this channel and social media and content. And it really just has pushed me in the direction to keep, you know, doing what I'm doing, which I absolutely love. And the fact that these brands, these huge well-known brand were looking at me and seeing value in my work, in me as a person, the way I represent my work, my content, 
it means the world to me. And at the same time, it reminds me of you guys that have been supporting me, showing me so much love and have made it so I can, you know, work with brands like this. So my way just really just, it reminds me of my career and this year and the transformation and the growth and the change and just being able to connect with incredible brands like Giorgio Armani, Giorgio Armani, girl, I, I'm a toot my own horn, toot, toot. And then Hudson's Bay, I used to work there. Like I was a sales associate at Hudson's Bay um, just before leaving to go on social media full time. And it is just crazy that in a matter of months from leaving that job, I'm working with them on a campaign and it was a great, fabulous campaign. So that's it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I got a little bit personal, a little bit candid, and it was just something different that I wanted to do and really show the power of fragrances and why I collect them and why I love them. And I'm pretty sure you guys feel the exact same way. So I would love to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comment section what is your number one most memorable fragrance and why. I want to hear your stories and I'm so excited to get to know you more so comment down below and also the fragrance reviewers youtubers if you want to do this tag definitely do it i would love love to see it on youtube and i'm gonna tag a couple of girls down below so thank you so much for watching i'm gonna end this now because just talking about these things made me quite emotional like i have a little bubble here i'm a bit choked up so thank you so much for watching guys as always thank you for your love and support i say this all the time because i truly mean it you guys have no idea, no idea what just watching my content, commenting, sharing, and liking does. It, it's it's really, really great. And I'm just so grateful for our community, for everyone who subscribes. Thank you so much. And um, I'll see you guys on the next video. Ciao!